Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how to perform file upload operation using REST Sharp and how we can upload an image file using the multi-part form data of a file upload API. This is one of the most important concept I have been seeing people asking how to do a file upload using REST Sharp and that too with the changes of the library happened recently in the REST Sharp itself. This is super important to understand how the new way of file upload is going to be working. Well, in order to perform the file upload, we are even going to be talking this file upload in two different ways. The one is how the application itself is being designed to perform a file upload and how the controllers are even being designed in the ASP.NET Web API. And also we'll be discussing how we could able to write the REST Sharp code to upload a file using the REST Sharp and test if the file upload has really happened. So this is going to be one of the most interesting video and I will show you how we could actually be able to perform that. And on the side notes, this particular video is part of the course API testing with REST Sharp with framework development. So if you have an opportunity to learn this course, just go ahead and enroll in that course. If your company already has Udemy for Business, you could learn the whole course by just subscribing to that course instead of just purchasing it because this course is already part of the Udemy for Business. All right, so let's see how the application code itself looks like. So if you go to our application over here, let me try running it. And if you go to the controller side, we already have a way to actually upload a file, something like this. As you can see, this is gonna be a multi -far, this is gonna be like a multi-part slash form data uh, request body type. And it is gonna be accepting a file binary, which is gonna be a file which you can upload. So I'm gonna choose a file like restsharp.png. And then if I try doing an execute, you're going to be getting a null reference exception. Don't even worry about that. I'm actually going to fix that particular problem and I will show you what I really mean. So this particular file upload is actually happening in the product controller.cs file, which is this guy. And over here, I've actually messed up with my name from file and I'm going to give it to like my file because I'm going to be expecting it to be a my file. And these are the two endpoints, like the post endpoints and the get endpoints are the one which is responsible for performing the file upload operation. And you can basically see that every time while I try doing a file upload, it is going to upload a file into a folder path, which is going to be nothing but this path, the files slash my files. And then it is going to put the file which I'm going to be trying to upload. And that's what this is going to be basically doing. And I'm going to be doing a stop here. I can also use the awaiting instead of the usings there and yeah i think that's all looking good so now if i try doing a debug and i will show you what's going to basically happen when i try doing a file upload see you can actually learn how the application development is also happening side by side while we are doing a testing of the application and that's the reason i always recommend people to learn some of the programming concepts like the web api for example to understand how the application works so that we could test it, attack it in a more tactical way. I'm gonna do a tryout and I'm gonna choose the file which is gonna be the rest chart PNG. And if I do an execute, you can see that it is gonna to come to this breakpoint. And then if I just do an step over, you will see that it has really copied the file right now into a directory, which is nothing but the files directory. I don't really have directory yet. I think it is gonna be coming up pretty soon. Let me just try to resume it. Uh, and hopefully it should have been created by now, but it's not. But let's see how the response is. There we go. You can see that now the success has happened. Uh, and yeah, there we go. You have the files folder and there is this restchart.png file as well. So this is the file that we just uploaded. So it's coming. So the file upload is really happening using this particular endpoint. Yeah. So. This is the post operation. You can also do a get operation to get the file name using the rest uh, I think I have never tried it because I just developed it and I really didn't give a importance to see what is going to be the functionality of it. Rest sharp dot PNG. I don't even know if that works. There we go. It just works. If I just do a download file and you can see that the rest sharp PNG file is even downloading, which is great. So yeah, that's working. Uh, now that this is what is gonna be basically your file upload operation. Let's see how we could be able to work on this one. So I would have just left it running. And now let's go back to our test over here. 
on the unit test onecs file, I'm going to start adding the test operation. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to go all the way to our test project. So let me just minimize the application. Uh, and over here, I'm going to do pretty much like how the get operation was done, probably. Um, which is the simplest code, this guy. I'm going to copy this whole thing. And I'm going to come down over here. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to say file upload test. Right? And these things are going to remain pretty much exactly the same. The rest client options, the rest client, the rest request is going to change. Basically, the rest request, it's going to be talking with the slash product. And it's a post operation as well. So I need to do those things. I'm going to be doing a bit of different way this time because we have been looking at this way of doing it, right? Until our last lecture. So I'm going to change this a bit. I'm going to say product. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a comma there. I'm going to say method post. So you could also do a rest request, something like this. So if you say this is post, then instead of the post async or the get async, the post async that we used before, and the get async that we used before, we also have a generic method which is called as execute async. So if you do this execute async, you could able to perform the request operation that you have got, which is this one, right? So that's something you could able to achieve that as well. And once you have a request with the post, we need to add the file, right? The file that we're trying to upload. And while I say add the file, now I'm just gonna say request add file so this is another extension method available in rest sharp where you could able to add a file that you are trying to upload and i'm going to say i'm trying to upload a file which is the name and i need to upload a file which is sitting under my files of photos directory probably let me go to the pictures yeah or you know what i guess i have deleted the directory while i was trying to remove it so let me or maybe even cut this file and I'm going to paste it into the pictures directory over here. And I'm going to copy the path. And I'm going to paste it over here. And because this is going to be a directory, you need to use an here symbol, something like this. This is going to make you or represent it as a directory. And now we also need to pass the content type. You remember the content type that we're trying to upload is basically a multi part slash form data. We need to also specify that. So how do we specify this? You can just copy this particular line, multi-part slash form data. And yeah, I think this way it is going to upload the file. So it's going to be the execute operation. And once I do the execute operation, I also need to verify the response. Do you know what is the response type of a file upload? It's basically going to be an HTTP status code, which says created. So we could able to verify that as well. So let's try doing that response dot status code you see that that's going to give us the status code of what is really happening and i can see that should be going to be an http status code of created which is going to be i think 201 so that's going to be the one which i'm trying to do this time so once i try uploading a file i need to get a response saying the file being uploaded so now that you know, you see that the files directory is kind of empty, there is no files there because we just cut the file, we paste it into the pictures folder. And now we are trying to upload another file and we wanted to see if this restart.png file is going to be copied into the particular directory because we're trying to do an upload right now. So let's try running the test. And it has got failed basically. It says that there is a 500 error. Maybe it's because our application has to be rebooted. Let me restart it and also put a breakpoint because it's always a good practice to do a breakpoint there we go so now we're going to do an execute what's the response it says internal server error and also says that the content type uh, which is returned is actually of a txt plane and it says that there is a null reference exception happening in the my file I know what the problem is basically because we actually are going to specify the my file there we need to specify the file name as my file because that's what we have specified in our controller as well the name as my file so we should be pretty much aligning the name that we are trying to pass and this is what something that you will be getting 
from your developers and even from the code base like what is the name that you need to specify while you're trying to upload mostly in organization it's going to be file if i'm not wrong but if it is my file you need to specify that as my file and now if i try doing a debug cross my finger and let's try debugging it there we go we don't really have any exception this time and let's see the status code it is created which is great so the test has got passed if i'm not wrong yeah and now you see that the files directory it also has the restart.png file which is being uploaded so the most important thing over here is the key that you're trying to do this my file is pretty much representing the name that you have given within your controller the file name that you need to pass while you're trying to do it and now you may have this question like how do i know in my application what it is how you know where to find it from your controller or if you don't know exactly even from the developers you can ask it like what is this particular stuff they could probably tell you and help you on getting that information yeah this is how we could able to perform a file upload operation